Uh, it would be nice to go to somewhere like Connaught, where Connaught don't lose, as we know, many internationals, um, with a couple back, certainly. Um, but, you know, the squad that we have currently in the building have trained really well. Some of them are, have had a break, a good break over the LV, which they needed to recover from, you know, 10 straight games on the bounce and, and, and a few injuries and knocks. So uh, that group have had some time off and some time conditioning and doing some extra work on uh, skills, conditioning and a game plan for Connaught. And then that's come back as a whole group again to this week. And the boys have trained really well over the last two days in pretty horrendous conditions. And um, sum up for us the importance of uh, this match get back into uh, league action. Yeah, he's come off the back of, you know, it's the start of block two for us. Block one was 10 games of rugby, including two in Europe. We won seven out of 10 games. So it was a period that was relatively successful. The disappointment were a couple of derbies that we didn't perform to the level we wanted to. Uh, we now go into a block that includes Connor, Ulster, Bath, Bath, Dragon Scarlets over Christmas. It's a huge block. We needed that little blow that we've had, and now we're motivated, and, and we have an opportunity to go to Connaught, of, you know, the champions. Uh, and and it would be great for us to pick up a win that we haven't had there for a while. Uh, having said that, we haven't won at Treviso for four years. We did that. Uh, likewise, Munster and, and and Zebra. So we'd be looking for another away win. But we know it doesn't get much tougher than going to Connaught. Any other injury ins or outs to tell us about? Uh, no, nothing, nothing major. I think during that two-week period, we had a couple, um, and we used it well to get those guys back on the pitch. And um, although LV disappointing results, obviously, but it was more about the priority of getting boys right for this Connaught game. And it, it looks like hopefully we'll have a couple back, and then we'll see what we get back from Wales.